Hey there, Louis Yacobalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove the title column from a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, what exactly is the title column in a SharePoint online list? Well, whenever a new list is created, SharePoint is automatically going to add some columns to that list by default. Now, most of the columns that are added are actually audit trail type columns. So created date, modified date, created by and modified by and the title column. So the title column is really the only piece of metadata that can be used right out of the box when you spin up a new list to uniquely identify some sort of information that's gonna be stored in that list. Now, a really important note, and it's very unfortunate, but you cannot actually delete the title column from a SharePoint online list. So if you were hoping to be able to just delete it and move on, you can't actually do that. But what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial is two ways that you can actually remove it from your list. So the first way is we'll actually look at repurposing it. So if you have some sort of single line of text that you need to record in a column in your list, we can actually rename that title column and repurpose it. The second thing that you can do with it is you can actually make it optional and then just hide it from your views. So let's go ahead and let's check out how to do those things. All right, now you can see here that I have created a new SharePoint online list. And currently the only column that is displayed here in this list is the title column. Now very quickly, if I click on the new item button, what you can see here is that the title column is mandatory. And again, there are no other columns that can actually be populated with data. Now we'll start by looking at how you can make this column optional and actually hide it from your view. So to do this, what you want to do is you wanna click on the settings icon at the top of the SharePoint online interface. And next you wanna go ahead and click on list settings. Now, if we scroll down to the columns group, this is going to show you all of the columns that exist on the SharePoint online list. And so again, I've just created this SharePoint online list and you can see title, modified, created, created by, and modified by. Now, again, these four columns here are sort of audit trail columns that are included in a SharePoint online list by default. And you can see that they are not required. Now these columns, we can't really do anything with them again because they're sort of audit trail columns. Now, if I wanna go ahead and change the title column so that it is not required, and you can see here the check mark in the required column indicating that it is set to required by default. I'm gonna go ahead and click on title. And this is going to bring me into the edit column menu. Now, if I scroll down to this field here, you can see it says require that this column contains information. And you can see again by default, it's set to yes. If I go ahead and check no and scroll down and click OK, you can see that this column is no longer required. So this is step one if you want to make this column optional and then just hide it from your views. Now next I'm going to go ahead and click on my list name to bring me back to the actual list itself. Now in order to hide this column from a view, what you want to do is you want to click on the all items drop down and you want to go ahead and click edit current view. Now this is what you want to click on if you want to modify an existing view. If you wanted to create a new view and again follow the steps I'm about to show you, then you go ahead and click on create new view. We're going to start by just modifying the current view. So I'm going to click on edit current view. And you can see here that in this view right now, it's only showing the title column. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and check modified and modified by, and I'm going to go ahead and check created and created by, and I'm also going to check ID. And lastly, I'm going to uncheck the title column. 
Next, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and click OK. And so you can see here that what we've done is we've actually now made the title column not required and we've just hidden it from this view. So whenever we're working with views, we can just make sure that we're not going to include that title column. It isn't required, so your users are not going to be forced to actually put in data into that column. So that is sort of the first way that you can remove the title column from your SharePoint online list make it optional and then just remove it from all of your views so it's kind of just hanging out in the background and it's not really doing anything. Now what I'll do is I will click on new item and what you are going to notice again because we haven't added any columns here that this title column is going to show up in our form view but again you can see here that it's no longer required and so users won't actually again have to put in information. Now, it is possible to customize these form views using Microsoft Power Apps. So you could actually go in and create your own form layout where you'd be able to hide the title column. I am going to be creating a tutorial showing you how to do that. So if that is something of interest, be sure to subscribe so that you get the notification when I publish that video. Next, what we're going to look at is we're going to go ahead and look at how you can actually repurpose the title column to use it to capture another single line of text that you might be storing information on in your SharePoint list. All right, now you can see here that I've gone ahead and I've added the title column back into the current view for my SharePoint list. And if I wanna go ahead and rename this title column so that I can repurpose it, you wanna go ahead and click on the settings icon and you wanna click on list settings. Next, you want to go ahead and click on the title column in the column group. And this is going to bring us back into the edit column menu. Now, to rename this column, you want to put a new value in the column name. So I'm going to go ahead and call this project title. And I'm going to enter a description. This column will be used to record the name of the project item, okay? And I am going to set this to required again, and to do that, you want to check yes in the require that this column contains information field. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click okay. And you can see here that the column has been renamed to project title and it is required. Next, I'll click back on my project list name here in the breadcrumb trail to bring me back into my list. And you can see here that we have renamed that title column to project title. Now, this is a good way for you to repurpose the title column. So if you don't need a title column, but you were planning on creating another column that was going to be a data type of single line of text, consider repurposing the title column. This way you're going to make use of it and it isn't just going to be sitting in the background doing nothing, possibly confusing users if any of them navigate into the list settings. And so that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you a few different ways that you could remove the title column that is included in a SharePoint online list by default. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.